Love me tender. What's up, TendyTube, and welcome back to another episode of Love Me Tender. I'm Eric, and this is the show where we explore what it means to sit back in pre-adolescent nostalgia and enjoy some chicken tenders. We chase that special feeling that washes over you when a basket of juicy, tender meat appears, letting you know that, hey, everything's gonna be all right, pal. <laughs> now, for those of you who have watched our previous episodes and thought, man, what a bougie son of a gun. He's only going to those fancy pants places. Heck no, friends. I've got a surprise for you. And I'm so glad you made it here, as today we are going on our first journey through the extremely vast space of fast food chicken tenders. Ooh, the plot chickens. For this dive, we're gonna get a taste of Popeye's Louisiana chicken and Church's Texas chicken. A special note about the world of fast chicken. We understand that sometimes in order to feed the mass and stay afloat, one must focus on quantity over quality. It's just the way of the world. I believe it was worded best when somebody said, fast, cheap, or good, you get to pick two. And I believe that holds true today. But I digress, let's dive in. In 1972, Popeyes came onto the fast chicken scene with their New Orleans style chicken. And they've been going strong ever since. So let's check it out. Hi. Uh, I would love some chicken tenders, please. Can I get two three-piece combos? Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna have some Popeye's chicken here. Just some basic tenders. Got just, just some tenders here. Nothing to worry about. I can't tell which ones are spicy and which ones are regular, so I guess we're gonna dive in, kinda see. But right away, ooh, this is hot, so freshly made. A nice crispy outer layer. You know, it's a bit thin, but let's open it up and see what happens. Ooh, ah, ooh. It's a different tender, like it's it's tender, but it's also not, it's an interesting mix. All right, let's see what this is. All right, ooh. This has to be the spicy. It's got that underneath kick as you eat it. It's got some juices in it, it's kind of tender. All right, now let's try the regular tender. Same thing, a lot of good crispiness in there. Pretty hot, I mean the tender's kind of thin, um, so it's hard to keep those juices inside. <coughs> I mean it's not that many spices in here. It's semi-tender, semi-juicy, it's fine. It'll, it'll work in a pinch. If you're having a tender crisis and you need something to eat, these tenders serve a purpose. I'm gonna wrap up these tenders and then we're gonna take a look at Church's chicken, see what's going on there. So Church's Texas Chicken has been around for 70 years, and we're about to see if their chicken holds up. Can I please get a five-piece chicken tender? Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, okay, so right away, let's see, we got some originals. So they're pretty small, right? Like, they're not very gargantuan, but that's okay, you know? Size isn't a huge issue, there's a lot more than just size. It's fine. But, I mean, I'm having to pull at this chicken here. It's not, it's not coming apart, there we go. Clearly not as tender. And you know, the breading gets pretty crispy, but again, let's see if the tenderness is there. No, no tenderness. These are very dry. This is, these are these are not great. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I want to say something good. Um, it's cooked. It's cooked chicken. That's good. There's not much flavor in here. It's not juicy. All it has is a, a nice thin crispy breading. But a nice thin crispy breading a chicken tender does not make. Let's try a little spicy. Maybe maybe the spicy ones have something else to say. Okay, looking about the same. Maybe a slightly darker coloration due to its spiciness. Oh, that broke apart a little bit better, okay. But it's still pretty thin, but let's see what's going on. Okay. There's a little more juiciness in there. I can actually chew it and not have to feel like I need a gallon of water to go with it. It's 
kind of just a hint of spicy. And you know, I mean, it's there. It's at the back of your throat, the spice, but it's, <clears throat> it's not too much. <coughs> but they're edible. And I don't know if it's the actual spicy ones or if just the regular ones were under the heat lamp a little, just a little too long. But uh, the regular ones are basically inedible. These ones are fairly edible, but still pretty tiny. A little bit of spice, not much. What are you gonna do? Sometimes when you're doing fast chicken, it does not work out in your favor and that's okay. That's okay. Can't win all the time. But we're gonna pack this up and see you back later. Okay, we've got some things to talk about. Were both of these places budget friendly? You betcha. Were they quick with their service? Eh, not really. Were they good chicken tenders? I'll take things that were under the heat lamp too long for 600, Alex. No, not good. So how about them ratings? For Popeye's chicken, they get a five. The whole experience was a mess. It took forever to get my food, and when I did get it, it was wrong. Twice. Those aspects were really annoying, but the real reason they get a five was the tenders were just... Okay. Were they serviceable? Yes. Sitting under the heat lamp made the tenders really hot to the touch and a bit rubbery, but I could still taste the juiciness underneath, so not all was lost. The breading was pretty thin, but so was the tender, so there wasn't much there there. And the seasoning was very lackluster. It didn't really bring any wow. But now for Church's chicken, they get a four. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make it here, folks, but here we are. The day is sad and my sorrow is long. This chicken was very lackluster. Tenderness sucked out through the heat lamp. Breading, about as crispy as a bowl of bread pudding. And seasoning, it appears they whispered the word seasoning right next to it. It didn't actually put any on it. Well, turns out I'm a chicken snob after all. What are you gonna do? Back to our regularly scheduled Tendi programming. Don't forget to punch that like and subscribe button and we'll see you next time as we journey through this delightful world of chicken tenders. Check you later.